Today I'm going to be giving a demonstration of these telephones made by a company called Dictograph. The company is American, uh, it's still actually in existence, but it makes alarm equipment these days. Uh, they were manufacturing phones from about the time of the First World War up until the mid-1960s. And the idea behind these is that they were rented as small telephone networks for businesses uh, that would be independent of the main exchange, just an internal phone network essentially therefore saving a lot of running costs. Um, the basic substation unit like this um, is a wooden box with its handset cradle and handset and it has a row of key switches on the front. This is a four line model so it's got one, two, three, four positions on it and a ring key as well. Um, nearly always made of a hardwood uh, which is polished. Uh, this is an early one, it's from about the 1930s. Um, later units tended to be made of plywood uh, with veneer on it instead and the handsets are often um, a bit more rounded on the later ones too. Uh, this is actually mottled brown Bakelite, um, this handset, you do see those from time to time but the black Bakelite seems to be more common. You can pick up a substation like this on eBay for about 20 or 30 pounds. They don't seem to be that popular amongst collectors and they do turn up from time to time. Um, this one again is just the same. Uh, this one here is a master station uh, which is a bit more complicated. It's actually a speaker phone so it doesn't have a handset as such. It's got the microphone there and it's got a speaker. There's the key switches there. It also has rows of lamps as well. Um, each of these lamps is uh, for one of the extensions. And then this also has little watch receiver around the side uh, for privacy if you don't want to use the speaker phone. Um, arrangement. So the operating principle of these is fairly simple. You lift up the handset, press down the key of the station that you want to call, you press the ring key. You can then lift this handset, you have your conversation. And then when you hang up, the key switch mechanically goes back into, into position again. So the master station uh, was an idea by Dictograph um, that it would be provided to executives and other people in the company who needed instant uh, communications to the rest of the, uh, of the business and um, they would have this slightly more advanced panel. Now if the master station calls a substation, a light comes on and then he has to push his key down to extinguish the light and then he can talk to the master station. Because uh, the master is a speakerphone, you can hear it's working like that. So, there. And then he rings off and then hangs up. Also, if this guy wants to phone the master, he just pushes his key down, the light comes up in the master station's panel and then he can push the, the key down and they can have their conversation. I'll, sh I'll show you why I did that. Again, if that lights up and he's got that down, if you hang up the handset, then he'll start buzzing until that rings off. It's also quite good in that the master has priority over any conversation. So, for example, if this guy is talking to his colleague here, and then the master, say, wants to talk to this guy, he calls him, and this, uh, this substation gets a light on it, so he knows the master station's waiting. He can then push the key down, they can have their conversation, and then hang up. So, this is a very basic setup, just two stations, the substations and one master, but some of these um, can have as many as 30 or 40 lines for them. Uh, you can imagine what the wiring is like. It's a, a central battery system, so you've got a battery or a mains power supply for the ringing uh, current, and also a separate one for the to um, talking current, basically the speech circuits. So that's four wires that go to each substation just for the power. And then after that you get two wires for each extension that's going on to it, as well as a couple of extra wires just for the substation's line. Uh, I found a wiring diagram, thankfully, for these on Sam Hallis's website. I'll post a link up. Uh, which actually helped me to, to wire all these together because before I just bought them on eBay and they'd be sitting about uh, looking pretty but not really doing anything. Um, 
So yeah, this is the type of cable that you that you have on these. Sometimes uh, you find substations uh, that have had the cable chopped off at the back. That makes wiring them up again a little bit more difficult. But you can use something like uh, phone cable, alarm cable, or maybe old Ethernet cable. So uh, there's definitely possibilities there. So yeah, they're uh, certainly good fun to play with.